Hey everyone, so you've been diagnosed with presbyopia or the loss of your ability to focus. What are you going to do about it? I'm Dr. Michael Nelson and today we are talking about options you have to deal with your presbyopia with glasses. Good optometry morning. So I'm going to assume that you have a basic understanding of what presbyopia is. But if you don't, you might want to check out my video on why I can't see up close in our presbyopia playlist. But today, I'm going to be talking specifically about options to deal with your presbyopia with glasses or spectacle lenses. All right, so a one sentence summary of presbyopia is that it's a loss of your autofocus ability that you can't focus at different distances. And what that means is you need a different prescription, a different eyeglass prescription for every distance you work at. So you need one prescription to help you see way far off in the distance for driving. You need another one to help you see up close looking at your phone or reading a book. You need another one that focuses out a little bit further away at the computer. You need another prescription at every single distance that you work at. So that brings us to our first option, single vision lenses that will put things in focus at one particular distance. Okay, so option number one, single vision lenses. So you can have a single vision pair of glasses that you use for driving. You can have a single vision computer pair of glasses. You can have a single vision reading pair of glasses. And what that means is it has one focal point in the lens, meaning that the lens is focused at one particular distance. And then as you move away from that distance, things will slowly get blurry. So single vision is a great option for you because basically when you put your driving glasses on, I, everywhere I look in the distance, I can see really clearly. So I can glance over this way, really clear, far away. I can glance over this way, really clear, far away. I can glance straight ahead, really clear, far away. But I can't see up close because it's not focused for up close. So the hassle with single vision lenses is that when I want to go to read, I have to take these off and I, put, I have to put on the glasses that are designed at this focal point and then I can see here. But I can see here, I can see here, I can see here, I can see everywhere on this particular plane, but as I look further away, it's out of focus. That's a single vision lens. All right, so single vision lenses are pretty good, but the problem with them is you have to put on your distance glasses and then switch and put on your reading glasses, and it's a little bit of a hassle to be on off, on off with the glasses all the time. So what happens if you combine those two prescriptions into one pair of glasses. If you do that, you create what we call a multifocal. And a multifocal is a lens that has more than one prescription built into it so that you can use it at different distances. And there's four main types of multifocals that I want to tell you about. Number one, we're going to talk about a bifocal. Number two, we're going to talk about a trifocal. Number three, a progressive lens. And number four, an office or a task lens. All right, so the first option is a bifocal. Let's talk about a little bit about what a bifocal is. So a bifocal has two different focal points in it. So it has a little what we call segment, which looks like a sideways shape D. It has a line on the top and then a curved line around the bottom. And basically, there's two different focal points in a bifocal. The whole upper portion and the outer part of the lens has your distance prescription, and then in that little segment, it has your reading prescription so you can see up close. And it basically has two different focal points. When you want to look far away, you see through that distance, and then you glance down, look through that little segment, and you can see up close. And that's a bifocal. A bifocal works really, really well. It's pretty easy to get used to, and it's pretty comfortable. But the major downside that most people don't like is just the cosmetic appearance of it. You can see these faint lines on the lens, and a lot of people don't like that. They prefer a lens that doesn't have any lines. Okay, so option number two is a trifocal. A trifocal is almost exactly the same as a bifocal, except that it has three different different focal points in it rather than just two. So the whole upper portion and the, and the peripheral part of the lens is again your distance prescription. In the bottom, it has this little segment that is your reading prescription. That, but then on top of that segment, it has another little zone, which is your what we call intermediate zone. And usually we refer to that as kind of your arm's reach or your computer distance that you can see things. And that's a trifocal. Again, a trifocal is easy to get used to and pretty comfortable. Again, the only downside of it that most people don't care for is the cosmetic appearance of it. You see these faint lines on it and a lot of people don't like those lines. A couple of notes on both the bifocal and the trifocal. They come in a couple of different widths or sizes 
of the bifocal. So if we talk about the bifocal, they come in different widths. The standard width is 28 millimeters wide, but they also come in a 35 and a 45 millimeter width. You can sometimes find a 25 millimeter, but those are less, less common. Uh, there's another type or form of a bifocal called an executive bifocal, and this is where the line goes completely straight across. Uh, this is kind of referenced by uh, ben Benjamin Franklin's uh, original bifocals, there was actually two lenses cut in half and kind of glued together, and then you have a, a complete line right across the lens, and that's called an executive bifocal. We don't use those a lot anymore because the edges of the bifocal can get really thick, or there's a really uh, thick ledge on the edge of the lens, and cosmetically they're not that great. And functionally, a 45 millimeter bifocal works almost as well as a an executive bifocal, and it looks much, much better. A trifocal has the similar widths just like the bifocal does. Option number three, a progressive lens. A progressive lens is our most high-tech form of multifocal lens. And so basically this lens, it has multiple different powers all throughout the lens, but it doesn't have any lines in it. So it looks just like a single vision lens and people love the cosmetic appearance of this lens. So the way it functions is that when you look straight ahead, you can see off in the distance, you can look side to side and see things clearly. But as you look up close, there's very, every little micro millimeter that you move down on the lens, the power will change. And when you get up close, there's a sweet spot. So when you're looking at your phone here, you can see things clearly. And now all progressive lenses will have some areas of distortion or aberration in the peripheral part of the lens. So when you're holding your phone here, you can see it clearly. But if you hold your phone off to the side and look through the side of the lens, you're going to notice that it's a little bit blurry and you have to learn to move your head around so you can move that sweet spot into the zone where you can see it clearly. And so that's what a progressive lens is. A progressive lens is a terrific option because it has multiple different powers unlike a bifocal lens where it has two distinct focal points a progressive lens has multiple different changes in the power that progress as you look down through the lens that allow you to see at multiple different distances so one thing I try to describe to my patients about a progressive lens is that a progressive lens is a really high-tech lens. When you have a single vision lens, what it means is that there's a certain curve on the front of the lens and a certain curve on the back, and those combine to bend light to focus on the back of the retina so you can see clearly. When you have a progressive lens, what it means is that there are multiple different curves and the curve on this lens will change as you move throughout the lens and that's really complicated to make and not create or induce distortions throughout the lens. So they really are high-tech and complicated lens to manufacture. The other point that I will talk about with a progressive lens is that there are different brands of progressive lenses. There are a few hundred different brands and designs of progressive lenses out there and Likewise, there's different price points in different progressives. There are some progressives that start at prices at just a few hundred dollars, and there's some progressives that'll easily be over a thousand dollars. And what's the difference between different quality progressives? It's the optics. And so better quality progressives give you better optics. And what I mean by better optics is less distortion and aberrations in the peripheral part. So you'll remember that I talked about there's a sweet spot and in entry level progressives, that sweet spot is quite narrow and you get a lot of distortions and those distortions can make some people uneasy or make people feel like I really have to move my head around or it's hard to find that sweet spot. Whereas better quality or in high end progressives will have a much larger, larger sweet spot and really minimize those distortions so those won't be as hard to get used to. All progressives will have aberrations and distortions in the peripheral part, but the high-end quality progressives will minimize those much more than the entry-level ones. So when you're shopping or looking for progressive lenses, it's really, really important that you compare apples to apples because if you're going to one store and saying, and they're saying, I have a progressive and it's this much, and another store says, well, I have a progressive and it's this much, you can't compare them because they're probably different brands. And if they're different brands and the optics are different, how do you, ma how do you compare those? The other thing to know about progressive lenses is that not every optical or eye clinic or eye doctor will have the same progressives available. Now, there are some clinics, and usually it's the independent opticals or the independent eye doctors 
they will have access to pretty well all the range of progressives from every company and every brand and every quality of them. And so they can give you good, better, best in different progressive lenses. Other clinics or other stores or opticals may only have one or two progressives that they use or have access to. So it, again, it's hard to compare. So you might go to one place and they might only have two different brands of progressive lenses and they might say, oh, this is our best progressive, but their best progressive might not be the best progressive that's available on the market. It just might be the best progressive that they have. So again, it's really important to ask about what brand is this? What's the name of this progressive lens? And then if you're shopping around, you can compare quality to brand. All right, so a progressive lens is a terrific option and it's probably the most popular multifocal lens out there. And I tell my patients that a progressive lens does a little bit of everything, but not everything perfectly. So it's a great all-purpose lens. You can use it for doing errands, you can use it for driving, you can use it for reading. But the one thing that a progressive doesn't excel at is doing computer work. And the reason is, is because the angles and the zones are all kind of at the wrong spot. So when you're working on a computer, and particularly a desktop, you're looking at a monitor that's kind of about this far away. And you're when you use a progressive lens, the part of the lens that you're using for is the same part of the lens that you use for driving. So if you're driving your car, uh, you're looking through this part of the lens. And that's also the part of the lens that you would be sitting at when you're looking at a, at a monitor. And so when you're using a progressive, uh, you're using the part of the lens that's designed for 20 feet away, not for two feet away. And sort of in order to see the monitor, you have to lift your chin up and look at the monitor like this in order to see it clearly. And that can induce some neck strain and the zones are kind of small and some people will get some difficulty with the progressive when they're working on a computer. And so that brings us to our fourth option, the office or the task lens. All right, so an office or a task lens is a multifocal, but it's actually a form of a progressive lens. And what I will tell people, it's kind of a cross between a progressive lens and a single vision pair of reading glasses. The way it works is much like a progressive lens, it doesn't have any lines in it and it has a change in the power. But what's different about it is that the top part of the lens, instead of being designed for distance vision, like for driving and seeing way off in the distance, like a progressive lens is, the office lens, the top portion is designed for computer distance. So kind of for arm's reach, about two feet away and you can see things clearly. So when you're sitting there looking at your monitor, you can see it nice and clearly. The office lens, just like a progressive, the power will slowly increase. So when you look down, the power increases. So again, when you're looking up close and you're holding your phone or some, a piece of paper that's actually closer here and not at this distance where your monitor is, you can see this clearly. And so an office lens lets you see your monitor really clearly and it gives a nice wide reading zone, much wider than a progressive would be and you don't have to lift your head up. And then the reading zone is actually wider than a progressive lens is uh, and you can see print material here. And you can actually see out to about three to five feet away, but past that it's blurry. So you can see someone sitting across your desk or you can see your phone across your desk, but walking down the hallway or looking down the hallway, you won't be able to see, you won't be able to drive with it. So it's really a task specific lens designed for computer and office lens. And what I will say is that it's kind of having the right tool for the right job. So you can have a progressive lens. That's a terrific lens for every day on the weekends and the evening when you're driving, when you're doing errands, and just living life. Office lens is a terrific lens when you're working on the computer, doing lots of data entry, working the computer all day long. That's a much more comfortable lens for that. And so when you have the right tool for the right job, it makes your vision more comfortable and your eyes more relaxed, and it's a great way to go. All right, so that's a quick summary of all the glasses options that I can think of when dealing with your presbyopia. And with that, have a great optometry day.